a huge story that we just broke on TMZ Sports uh, about an NFL superstar, and some of this is going to sound a little familiar. It's going to sound like Ray Rice um, because it is surveillance video of Kansas City Chiefs star Kareem Hunt striking a woman during a dispute in a hotel. Uh, this happened back in February, and TMZ Sports actually did that story. Um, there was, uh, you know, police were called. Uh, but we knew there was surveillance footage available. Well, TMZ Sports just obtained it. And to me, it is no longer, there it is. Kareem Hunt is the man there with the chain on. He strikes this woman. Uh, she comes back at him. Uh, and, and it it gets, uh, how do I say this? Uh, it just seems like he has a disregard for her. Hmm as a yeah. human being at one right point. Right there, somebody else gets pushed into her, but uh, uh, I think probably the most shocking thing happens a little bit later on when he takes his foot and he kicks her while she's on the ground. Um, looks pretty bad for Kareem Hunt right there, especially in light of some right. of the things that the NFL has dealt with for the last couple of years. And the big question uh, that Team Z Sports is working on right now is what has the NFL and or the Kansas City Chiefs done about this? Because up to this point, and again, we knew about the allegation. He's gonna fall back down right here and then you're gonna see him and kick And there's her. the kick. Yeah. So, so yeah, th th this happened in February in a hotel in Cleveland, Ohio, and cops responded to this but didn't charge anybody with a crime. If you watch the full raw video, which you can see on TMZSports.com, it starts with Kareem Hunt, who, by the way, is one of the biggest stars in the NFL. He was the rushing leader last year. He's on the Chiefs, which are one of the best teams in the NFL right now. He's a key part of that, pl of that team. He is a rising superstar, and he was involved in the situation where cops investigated, they saw this video. You can see Kareem throws the first shot, he shoves this woman, and then it escalates at a point van before he kicks her. He actually bull rushes at her and runs over a male associate and the woman. They both go flying into the wall. They're both dazed. Kareem Hunt is a powerful, explosive professional athlete, and you can tell these people are hurt. So the cops came to the hotel and they interviewed everybody. They interviewed Kareem Hunt. They interviewed the woman who was attacked. You can see them both flying into the wall right there. They interviewed friends. And the woman said that this all happened because they kicked her out of Kareem's hotel room because she wouldn't hook up with a man in, in Kareem's uh, entourage. Uh, entourage. Right. The friends told police a different story, that she was acting crazy and they threw her out of the room and she started using the N-word. She's a 19-year-old college student from Kent State, by the way. So that she was using the N-word and that's why everybody kind of got upset and they tried to throw her out and she wouldn't leave. Cops, according to police report, uh, police reports obtained by TMZ Sports, they knew that there was surveillance video available. And actually we spoke with police and that surveillance video from the hotel was submitted into evidence. Prosecutors saw this, but they still didn't feel that this was at the level of a crime. And so he was not arrested, charged, prosecuted, any of that stuff. Neither was the woman. But when you watch this video, you just think to yourself, number one, what the hell is this guy thinking? You're a, a professional right. athlete and you're putting your hands on a 19-year-old woman who is not. And then the other thing is, and then you kick her blatant disregard for her. And then the other part is, the NFL, where are they in this whole thing? Now, Kareem Hunt, again, this happened in February. The NFL season started in September, and Kareem Hunt was not suspended, has not been punished, has not been anything. We don't know if the NFL had access to this video, and that was a big big right. sticking and point was, in the Ray Rice story. Well, well, whether they had access to the video, we know, for, like you said from the police report, the video was available right. upon request. So did the NFL request it? Did they investigate it? Now, like you, the police determined that they couldn't, they couldn't figure out who the aggressor was um, maybe they saw it as mutual combat, so they didn't press any charges. But the NFL has said they're not waiting, they're not basing their punishment of players on what the police do, right? I mean, in fact, since the Ray Rice incident... You can incident, see right there, that's where she gets knocked into the yeah. wall, by the way, and she is dazed. The friend, by the way, that's, Ray, that's uh, Kareem's friend, is also, also dazed. Got, right. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, since the Ray Rice incident, the NFL has said, look, we, we will... They acknowledged at that point that there were flaws in their investigation of Ray Rice. Remember, Ray Rice was in, suspended indefinitely, but not until we had posted that when we posted right. the video video in the and elevator. Initially, That's I right. think they, they, it was a slap on the wrist they had given. So Ray Kareem Rice. Hunt has not been punished at all, even a little bit. You got to think, if you look at this video, and we watched it from start to finish multiple times, Kareem Hunt had several opportunities to walk away. There were friends of his, big guys that were trying to pull him away and make him go back to his room, and he didn't. He escalated and escalated, and ultimately you can see the woman goes crashing into the wall, and then he gets, she gets kicked. 
if you're the NFL, what's the point of a personal conduct policy if you're not going to enforce it in this particular circumstance? I don't well, understand. Well, I mean, right. it, like, I, I, that, we're assuming that they've seen the video. If they've no, seen, what, the NFL... Well, what, what did the NFL say, uh, Evan, when, when you guys We reached, reached out, out to them, and, and we haven't heard back from them yet. Uh, unclear if they've seen this video or not, but, you know, a after the Ray Rice thing, you know, Roger Goodell made it clear that they were going to make more of a concentrated effort to, to mine stuff like this when it comes so, in front of them. So right. one of two things happened. They didn't attempt to get the video, didn't get the video, or they got the video, looked at it, and... And, feel the term, it and felt wrong. like it didn't deserve a punishment. One of those two things happened. What do you and guys I think? Does this deserve a well, punishment? Neither, I mean, neither of those things I, mean, I think to, is it, very it, good for the Of course it deserves a, a, it deserves a punishment. A punishment. It, it most certainly deserves a punishment. Um, having taken into consideration everything that everyone said, there's no excuse for his behavior right there. Uh, as far as the NFL's part in it, it's been a, a quite some time since this incident happened, and we're just now getting the video. Mm -hmm. So you'd have to wonder whether or not they saw it. For Kareem Hunt's part in this, I mean, the reality is, fam, you just got to be better than this. You, like, like all of these, these young guys that are in these situations, and they, forget about being in the NFL. Right. Just period. Just when, as, a, when dealing as a human with, being. With, 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 as a human being, with, when dealing with ladies, with dealing with women, you, you have to be better than this. And that's, that's the right. There's going to be a bunch of things he's going to say, any names he got called, all of that. I understand the sentiments that if, if that truly happened to him, how he might have felt, but you have got to be better and bigger than that. You right. can't let that happen. Hi, Monica from Roanoke, Virginia. And I agree with you. You gotta, you do have to be better than that with not just women, with people in general, with that status, with anyone. You can walk away. And I feel like the video, it went on for so long. It felt like they couldn't get a control, get any control of it. Like they should have, his entourage, they should have really said, okay, someone scored her out right. and I have him. Like I feel like they just let it go. Well, they and can't I, control I, him. He's in the NFL. And by the way, social, well, social, social uh, yeah, media. You saw they were trying they to. Were trying they were trying to, to hold yeah, him back. He's but the in question the is, why not? There was, as you said, Evan, there were so many opportunities for him to go back into his hotel room and just let it go. Yeah. yeah. By that the way, woman was we, already out of the room. We just published this thing just a, just a few minutes ago. Um, social media is already is already. I know what social media does what social media does, but right. it's 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 a it's a bad look for Kareem Hunt right now. People are killing him for this. And, you know, now the, the NFL is going to have to decide what to do. The Chiefs have to decide what to do. And Kareem oh, Hunt, Kareem Hunt's gonna has, have to cool the on a personal level, some things yeah. he's got to figure out. Sure.